Hi, hi, this is Vitek from Envitronics. Just want to share with you a little project. I've been working on it. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but we have 15 centimeters of snow, May 16, uh, courtesy of Canadian and US Air Force spraying skies like a madman two nights before. Uh, anyway, today the snow melted and uh, I had some branches trim of the uh, poplar trees. They, they've been growing too tight together and their tops will start to dry because the crowns are interfering with each other. And uh, I just realized that what I have, it's a, a balsam poplar. And uh, if you live in the eastern part of Canada or uh, uh, Maine, Vermont, that's pretty much the same uh, uh, zone. And uh, that's the right time to harvest uh, those little buds. And uh, they are they are really pump and uh, covered with uh, uh, sticky resin. And they will stain your clothes, so you gotta be you gotta be careful picking them. And there is a little trick I use. I uh, lubricate my gloves with a little bit of coconut oil and this way they don't stick and I can uh, easily pick them and uh, this is the last moment uh, because once they, the leaves pop out the, the window frame for a harvest closes so that's the last moment to uh, pick them and uh, I'll tell you more what to do with them once uh, I get back uh, home so uh, I'll talk to you uh, in a couple minutes. Okay, I'm back home with my uh, harvest. That took me about half an hour, but I uh, I tried to pick all the buds from those uh, branches which have been trimmed. <coughs> and uh, I had to go a couple times um, back home and uh, put some more of the coconut oil on the gloves because it, uh, it was rubbing off and they start to stick and uh, once uh, once they are covered with oil the picking it's uh, it's much much easier so that's that's about over two pounds of these buds and uh, the smell it's very pleasant unbelievable like the the whole the whole place smells um, smells with it and that's actually something you can uh, help you to identify if you are dealing with the right um, kind of a tree there are three uh, three of them uh, in Canada and uh, Northern America there is uh, balsam poplar uh, narrow leaf balsam poplar and black cottonwood they are actually the same same family, and they all produce this um, uh, oily uh, resin, which uh, it's called uh, Gilead balsam or balm. And, uh, the earliest earliest reference uh, goes back to the 1600 and uh, the King James Bible. There is mention. Uh, that as well as uh, old Hebrew text. I don't know if they use the poplar, but uh, anyway, the the name kind of a stock. So right now, if anyone talks about the Gilead balm, they usually refer to one of um, one of those um, uh, trees um, from from this um, uh, uh, family. Um, if you happen to harvest uh, harvest them from uh, uh, from a tree. Use common sense and never pick buds which are terminal, the end of the branches, because that's the branch growth. Each bud will be a new leaf, so don't be greedy and um, don't over harvest um, one one tree. They will they will share with with us, but don't don't uh, strip them all because you might actually kill the tree. Mm. Once, uh, once you get them home, there is a process to extract uh, the substance. Uh, 
there are a few um, chemical uh, compounds in it. I'm not going to bore you with the, with the names, but uh, the that resin uh, it contains uh, uh, salicin, which uh, our body will convert to uh, aspirin. And there are also other substances like this is amazing natural antibiotic uh, which is uh, uh, anti-inflammatory antibacterial helps with cough um, can be used on the cuts burns bruises uh, as well as uh, uh, it will help with the detox perhaps you may use a, uh, to rub your feet and uh, or add a little bit to the food bath and use the spooky um, uh, spooky program uh, if you happen to uh, to have this uh, this unit and um, it's also uh, good for uh, hemorrhoids uh, muscle soreness and uh, arthritis uh, joint pain really really amazing substance the only uh, the only precaution is to uh, uh, people who might be allergic to the aspirin uh, I wouldn't recommend this but uh, anybody else it's uh, it's a great gift from nature now how to extract the the best the best way uh, very simple actually is use a little heat and a carrier oil uh, you can use the olive oil or um, I am using coconut organic coconut oil and just cover those buds and uh, you can use like me you can use a hot plate and very low setting uh, you don't want to boil this just just warm would be enough and um, you can use a cook stove and uh, put the jar in in a pot with the water like I use a water jacket and use a low heat I don't actually know if you can if you can overdo this process and uh, you can keep this uh, warm for a couple weeks two three weeks and actually if you have a sunny window like facing south you can cover the top with uh, with the cheesecloth and uh, uh, and keep in a, in a window uh, seal exposed to the sun uh, for a couple of weeks and uh, also uh, it's a good idea to crush these buds so they will they will release um, a more of, of the substance and I found much easier uh, to crush them using uh, a long spoon uh, to crush them uh, against the wall of the jar rather than uh, trying to crush them in a ziplock bag because they are very sticky and uh, this process will be messy otherwise and uh, once the process is done uh, you can use the little funnel and uh, triple fold the uh, cheesecloth and filter the impurities and uh, put this into jars and uh, I'll show you the color it's, uh, it's a beautiful like amber color and uh, I've been I've been heating this uh, for about uh, 48 hours uh, no actually less 36 hours and um, you can pour into little jars and uh, use as a oil like for rubbing uh, like rubbing your feet uh, they have a, like our soles of our feet have a many acupuncture points so you can rub this um, rub this oil into your feet and uh, and transfer the frequencies of the of this compound uh, as well as the chemical substance uh, into our into our system or you can add some uh, once it's filter and uh, still in a water jacket and add some wax organic wax beeswax the wax melts in about 40 degrees celsius and uh, don't overheat and never uh, heat the wax directly on the on the stove because the wax won't boil you can actually miss the point when it's overheated and it will ignite so 
take your time and uh, don't don't rush and uh, don't use uh, too much heat and uh, once 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 it's thickened you can just experiment and add beeswax and to see if the consistency is right and uh, you can make like a, like a balm and put in a little jar and keep in your medicine cabinet and use when uh, when needed anyway this uh, this is just a little project i i might have some extra and uh, I might be able to share some uh, on my website envitronics.org. So uh, we'll see how 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 this uh, how this goes. I have some other projects, uh, and so but this actually doesn't doesn't require much attention. Uh, it's kind of once once you have everything prepared. All you gotta do is just wait, and once it's done, you're good to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, and uh, you'll be able to harvest uh, harvest some uh, for yourself. And thank you for watching.